hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix this error that is microsoft visual c plus plus 2022 x64 minimum runtime so if you're receiving this error then please follow the steps shown in this video to fix it copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website you will see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 so scroll down and over here you can see x86 and x64 so download both x86 file and then download x64 file and then run both the exe files so click on it now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow install this x86 file as well now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install button hit install and let the installation complete Make sure both are installed. Once installed, you can close this and then restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Still, you are receiving the error. And then in that case, please follow the rest of the steps shown in this video. So for this, first of all, open control panel on your computer. So type in control panel in Windows search box. And then open control panel. Now over here, Click on programs and then programs and features. Now scroll down and find all the Microsoft Visual C++ file over here. So from here you can see I have all this Visual C++ 2010, 12, 13, 15 to 22. So select everything over here and then make a right click and then click on uninstall. So select, you have to uninstall all the Microsoft Visual C++ files from here. So click on yes, click on yes to allow and uninstall it one by one. Click on yes to allow. So click on uninstall and uninstall all the files over here, all the C++ files. So I'm done, it's already uninstalled on my computer, I have to restart the computer but before you restart just type in registry editor in windows search box and then click on registry editor to open registry editor, click on yes to allow. Now over here before you make any changes export all the file, you have to create a backup so go to file and then click on export and you can set the location as desktop and you can name this file as backup and for export range select all and then click on save and let the backup complete now once the backup is created and uh, let me inform you that in case if something wrong happens after you restart your computer and if you want to restore the registry you can go to file and then click on import and you can go to desktop and you can select the backup and then click on open this will restore the registry so once you create a backup now go to this location so copy this location the location is provided in the video description you can go to this location manually or you can simply paste the location on the top over here 
and then hit the enter key. This will straight away take you to this location. Now, over here you can see products. Now you have to select all the folder one by one. So select all the entry one, one, one by one under products. Select the first one and over here see product name and find Microsoft Visual C++ over here. So this is not the one. So scroll down, you have to go down one by one. Now go to the second folder. Here you can see product name Office 16. So this is not the one. And over here again, product name is something different. So this is not the one. Again, scroll down. So I don't find I see connect. Microsoft Update, Max Audio, Epic Online, Microsoft Visual C++ 2022. So I've selected this folder and over here you can see product name is Microsoft Visual C++ 2022. So if you find Microsoft Visual C++, then you have to delete that folder. So make a right click over here. I will delete this. Click on yes. Now once deleted, again scroll down and find Microsoft Visual C++. So I see Microsoft Server, PC Health, Net, Microsoft Game Input, Microsoft Server, Connect for Windows, again Microsoft.net, Microsoft Server, Connect for Windows, Microsoft Server, .NET, Installer, Connect Windows. Again over here I can see Microsoft Visual C++ 2022. So again, I will delete this folder. So delete all the folder which has Microsoft Visual C++. Now I'm done. The product, all the numbers under product is over. It was still here. So I've deleted all the product name which has, which, which had the Microsoft Visual C++. So I deleted that folder. Now restart it here. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now, after the system restart, open browser. Now, once you open any browser, go to this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here, you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19, and 22. So download x86 version, do not download ARM64, download x86 and then run this exe file. Click on repair or install. So you might see the install option. If you see install, click on install. If you see the repair option, click on repair. Click on yes to allow. Now download x64 file as well and then run this exe file. Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. Click on yes to allow. And let the installation complete. Make sure both the installation are complete. Now, restart it. Again. So, one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this error. So, that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.